Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial, learn about how to join or merge data, data sets or data frames, right, in Julia. So, Julia gives you the option of using one function that is join to either join or merge your data frame. There is also a pen, and I will be learning that one also. So, by the end of this lesson, we'll be learning how to do something like this. So, we have from the data hub.io, we have two data sets right about the companies that the one we were using initially it sees you two different data sets one is the constituent which consists of only three columns right the symbol the name and the sector then another data set which is a constituent financial so we want to try and merge these two data sets together so that this one is having several columns but this one is having only three so we want to see how to merge them together so first of all let's learn the normal basics so just go with using data frames you already have the package data frames then the data set you'll be using so these are data sets so we have employee one and name it employee one and then salary is a normal basis so they must match or oh, okay so now let's load our data set so after loading this data set it has perfectly loaded it for us now let's see how to merge it so the syntax for merge for merging or joining is that it takes the first data set right which is going to be the left then the next data frame is going to be the right then the key that you want to join on or the column you want to join on which is supposed to be identical to the first and the second right and then the next one is going to be the method or how you want to join it that is the kind okay so the, this package just work like the merge and then the join so let's see how to do that so to do that just go to join and then our first which was employer and then salary right so that is a fit the left and then the right now how do you want to join it you can just go with on that is on which data set you do, do you want to join what is going to be our key our key is going to be the id because see the id is the same we have id here we have id here right so we want to join it on this id so it's going to be id Right, so when you do it like this, automatically it's going to just join the two of them based on that ID. See that has already joined it based on the ID, and then not all the values appeared because some of them did not match. Right, so that is why it gave us only those ones which match based on the ID. So I can just do it again and then join it on the left. So to join it on the left, it is like it's going to just take the first one go to join it based on the IDs on the left right on the first one so let's check it and see so kind then so I'm going to join it on the left it's going to join it on the one for the salary for the one on the employer which was the left that has given us more data sets than the previous one right because that one was is the left so let's check that one verify it and see from my data set see that it's having 20 11 and 9 so if you check for this one you see 20 11 and 9 right so that means it's joining it on the left you can also join it on the right which is the salary so, and i'm just going to use the right that is the salary as the key, right? As the one to join on. See that this is giving us these values. Okay, and then the one that is doesn't have any value, you just go with any or non-applicable or non-available, right? Just like this one. Any. That is one nice thing about it. So let's see some of the things you can also do on the method or how to join it. You can use it on outer. Right, outer is going to outer just like union so outer is going to join everything together just like the union now so we're going to write union so it's going to join every one of them so to join all of them together which is quite nice and then the inner is going to be only the intersect so the inner is just like the intersection of them just like in sql and then all those database management so it's going to bring the one that i found in all of them just like in a set the intersection between them 
that is nice okay so now let's see how to do that for our data set just one last thing about this is that like if you want to check the one that do not match we can use this format i have here you want to check the one that do not match at all right that's when we use the anti so do, do that do not match use the anti so let's try that one just go with anti and then it's going to return the rules that do not match with the keys right so the key is id and it's match on employer so we're going to return all of those ones that do not match that key which is the three ones 9 11 and 20 if you remember and then the same is going to return return the one that match just like the inner so semi so that is returning those ones that match so that is quite nice which is very useful this is just like the uh, how do you call it indicator true the semi and the anti just works like that indicator true so that you actually know what it was working on now let's go back to our assignment what we're supposed to do how do you match this data set the constituent and then the financial so we can just use it normal way we're doing it is a constituent and copy it and stream it straight away so let's move on to using request let's try that that doesn't going to be our constituent right so we call it at constituent constituent yeah Continue the spelling okay and then that's how it's going to be that's how we're going to be calling it but let me response one it's like response cause right and then get streaming going to put our url the one we copied there then we're going to read table right rest cons so we're going to be reading the first one up our constituent we're going to do the same thing for our second one let me copy this one and paste it for our constituent financials and then we're going to be changing it from this one which is the tallest one change it here oops okay okay now we're going to be changing it from response console and then final right okay so we see that the first one worked perfectly yeah this one we are getting it straight from the website data hub so this is how it was for the first one this is giving us the symbol the name and the set that without the other column so all these ones are strings and then this one is going to be our let's change it one from constraint so that it becomes clever right this is giving us more so let's see how to join them so looking at this we have symbol name sector as the common denominator between them so if you want to join it you're going to you can join it like this format as we learned earlier on to so join right yeah. first one right so yeah, i'm joining it, this one and this one and i'm joining it on the symbol which is going to be the symbol you have the symbol the name and the sector so i can join it on the three of them so let's try the name first join it on the name then we can just go with the kind as say inner right it's going to join the entire data set for us perfect let us join it all together so it is joining it on the name and then it has joined all our data sets for us so let me, if i put this one inside something like D, df2 and then i check for the columns of this you realize that has actually joined it here to just join all of them perfectly so that all the columns have been added to it 
all those the first one was only three the other one was more so it has joined all of them perfectly so that's how to use this join format so thank you for watching if you have any question or contribution you can just put it inside the comment section so that any everybody can benefit yes the difference between this join and then the append is that when you use the append if you use the append right to go with append bank and then let's call it as uh, json which was the first one let's use the first one employer right if you are pending if you are doing it it's going to be employer and then let's say employer to something like that to something like this so it's going to add this one to the other one instead of merging it on the column or an id that is the difference between them let me create a dummy data here we copy something to this one right create another simple one so that you see what i'm talking about so this i'm going to change it from this to no, let me add more to it and then add some two names to it okay right so if i'm going to if i append the first one to the second one with this is going to work in a totally different format which is totally different from the one we did so i just added all of them together in a quite different manner that's the difference between the join and the append thank you for watching if you have any questions please don't forget to ask stabilize